The Vessel View 7 contains features designed to support multiple products across the Mercury product line. Your specific engine and vessel combination may not utilize all of these features. The Vessel View 7 allows you to turn off and on features to match your specific needs. It is recommended that you back up the vessel personality onto a micro SD card before changing the configuration settings. The backup allows you the option to easily reset the vessel view back to the current configuration. In this presentation we will focus on the Mercury Marine screens, although you can customize other screens using the NEMA data inputs in a similar manner. We will turn off a couple of items, reposition one, and add a new one. Once you understand the basics, it is easy to explore and customize a unit. We are going to remove the steering indicator located above the RPM bands. Move the voltage indicator to the bottom of the screen and replace it with oil pressure. Starting on the Mercury data screen, depress the menu button to open the system tray and rotate the dial until you see the settings icon. Depress the knob to display the options. Once the list of options opens up, you can scroll up and down to locate the correct area you wish to customize. The first item on the list is System. Clicking the knob will display the device options. Here is where you can change the language, set time and date, buzzer, lighting options, image viewer, and simulator. The simulator is great when you are sitting at the dock and want to explore your vessel view in more detail. Use the X button to return to the settings menu. The second item on the settings list is user preferences. What you see on the screen and how the data displays. The top three items are set up during the initial installation wizard and typically are not changed unless a modification to the vessel is completed. The other items allow the operator to configure the data to their needs. Here is where we will change what is seen on the screen. Scroll down to data boxes and open up the options. Click on the options data box and select both. Now we will have three data boxes on the screen. One on the top left hand side and two on the bottom. Scroll back to position number one, which is the box on the top left hand side. Click on the item and you will be in a choose data screen. Scroll up and down until you highlight oil pressure. Then select. Oil pressure is now on the screen. Now let's fill in the other boxes. Back into preferences, data boxes, item number two. Let's select battery voltage. Now we have voltage on the bottom. One more box to fill in. Position number three and water pressure. Now we have all three boxes filled in. Keep in mind there were only two selectable items displayed at the bottom and trim and tabs will override everything else and hold these positions. So if you have trim or tabs displayed then you can only have one box at the bottom and if you decide to have both trim and tabs visible you cannot display anything else at the bottom. With trim and tabs you have options. First you can display them at the bottom of the screen or have them pop up onto the screen once they are activated or a combination of both. The pop-up is like tapping on the icon to display the data, only it happens automatically when the system is activated. You can set these features under Preferences, under Show Tabs and Trim. As long as we are here, Let's turn off the rudder position indicator under Show Steering. Now go to Pop-ups and down to Trim. You can turn on and off the Trim pop-up and set how long it remains on the screen.
Finally, let's remove several items from the scroller bar system tray that do not apply to this engine. It will make choosing display items easier and faster by not having to scroll through non-used icons. So, how do you know what your engine needs? Go to mercurymarine.com, the select gauges and controls, then the compatibility tab. The chart will give guidance on what the current engines display. Remember, some of the data is specific to how your vessel is set up. Your dealer or boat manufacturer can assist with these questions. Let's take a common engine and set up the systems tray. Say a 4.3 liter MPI Mercuser. Under scroller bar, item visibility, then compare your list to what is shown on the screen and remove any items that are not on the list. Now the systems tray is much smaller, with only the items that are on your vessel. Let's discuss the other items listed under preferences. The vessel is where you reset the fuel calculations after you refuel. Also in this area is where you establish the tank calculations, but these should not require adjustment after the initial setup. The SmartCraft is where you identify the sensors that are on the Mercury Marine SmartCraft network. Again. Typically, these are not changed unless something new is added to the vessel. EasyLink is used on multiple engine vessels where you want common data on one vessel view. Alarms are just what the name states. If the correct sensors are installed, you can configure depth and speed alarms, along with reviewing any alarms that have recently occurred. Units are where you set the display readouts to your preferences, English, metric, nautical, or land-based. Network is where you can set and calibrate NEMA sensors, plus fine-tune the eco screens and smart tow modes. Finally at the bottom is where you can export and import the vessel personality file. The personality file contains all of the current vessel specific settings that have been modified in the vessel view. You can export the file as a backup and re-import the file later as needed to return the vessel back to the same configuration as when the file was exported.